Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Goes Cons Football here. I figured I'd go ahead and show um, an updated mail day. I was out of town like last week. Uh, I haven't done a mail day in a few weeks, so I figured I'd save up a bunch of stuff and uh, show it here. Uh, so make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video. There's a couple of very sick cards at the end. First of all, a couple of eBay pickups. I got this Ron Santo jersey out of Sweet Spot Classic. Uh, this is a very rare uh, short print. It's not even like announced in Beckett. I actually only found out that this card even existed by reading a website uh, regarding this set. So Ron Santo jersey card. So that's very nice. I am now only two cards away and I'm missing the two hardest to find. Christy Mathewson and Babe Ruth. Uh, so again, that set's going to be shown on YouTube very soon. Make sure you keep an eye out for it. Then for my PC, I got a uh, Raleigh Fingers on the Brewers. And as you can see right here, it is number one of one. So that's pretty nice. It's not jersey or auto or anything, but still very nice. Then I also picked up a Raleigh Fingers autograph on the Brewers. AL MVP 1981. Uh, also for the Brewers, uh, picked up from JC Ben 8. Uh, very, very nice card right here. Prince Fielder Lustrous. UD Black autograph number to 50. And it's uh, very well centered on that autograph. There's no chips or anything. As you know, these UD Black cards are very, uh, very sensitive and they got like all the chipping out all the time. So that is awesome. Thanks again to JC Ben 8 for that. Then I made another trade with Zaz. And I got this very sweet William McCovey autograph on glove number 215. And then from another trade I did with UW, again I've traded with UW and Zaz probably about three or four times. I got this very nice Prince Fielder patch out of 50 out of Spectrum. Again, thanks a lot to UW. Actually, it's UW on blog. It's like S P A Z. Um, on um, YouTube. I'll post the link though. You'll see it. And then uh, a couple of group break cards. I got a Bob Gibson autograph, Premier Stitchings, out of uh, 08 Premier, I believe that is. Number only 25. I got a Josh Johnson autograph for the Bucks, rookie autograph out of Threads, number to 50. I got a Carlos Lee autograph out of Exquisite. Uh, then a couple cards I got from a person who's, I think he's pretty new to YouTube. His name is uh, Cards for You and More. I traded him some Royals cards. I guess he's a big Royals collector. And so I traded him uh, a couple Royals cards for a couple of uh, PC cards here. Uh, PJ Hill on the Badgers autograph. And then a Greg Jennings rookie card autograph out of uh, Contenders. Very nice. I had to give up a very, very nice patch card for him, but seeing as he's starting off with his uh, Royals collection, I figured I'd go ahead and help him out. So, again, thanks a lot for the trade. Uh, then another card I got in a group break, I got Jonathan Papelbon, UD Black autograph right there, number 275. And then from Skunkman 1998, I just received this package out of the blue, never expecting him to send me anything, because uh, what I did was uh, a card was sent to me by accident uh, from a group break. So I just sent it back to him, and now all of a sudden he just sends me like these free cards. So, again, thanks a lot, Scott Man. You didn't have to do all that, bro. But uh, he sent me a bunch of uh, Packer cards right here, Packer base and inserts. Uh, also some uh, Wisconsin Badgers thrown in here. I'm not going to show every single one of them. There's a lot of them there. And then he sent me some more here. Here's a P.J. Hill. Badgers, another Badgers card. Uh, some Brewer cards here, uh, numbered, and then he sent me a uh, Jeffress, Jeremy Jeffress. He's a up and coming prospect for the Brewers, autograph out of uh, TriStar, Paul Molitor jersey, and a Robin Yount jersey out of Heroes. So again, thanks a lot to Scott Man 1998 for all those cards. And then um, I'd also like to give a shout out to Go Yanks. Uh, he just offered to give me these cards out of a group break. A um, couple of Packer cards, uh, Greg Jennings base card number 99, and then a very nice Brett Favre, Greg Jennings, and AJ Hawk number to 25 triple jersey. So again, thanks a lot to Go Yanks. I won't forget about that, bro. And then uh, I had the Cardinals and another and a different 08 Premier Group break. Got Jim Edmonds base card right there, 
Got a Lou Brock card out of Prime Cuts. And then, uh, which I'm sure most of you have already seen from uh, one of the Truce Breaks, got a very, very sick Stan Musial dual patch. And I don't know if you can see that patch there, maybe I'm getting a little too close. But uh, these two patches right here are incredibly sick. And this card is number 25 out of 25. So again, look, take a look at that. That's, uh, I thought it was painted on when I first saw it, and it is actually stitching. So that's, that's pretty cool. You don't usually see any old-timer patches like that. And then I hit, when I stopped back in Wisconsin, I picked up the sickest card in my collection, at least to me. Uh, I know you've all seen my Babe Ruth quad jersey with three pinstripes, which I'm sure is the sickest to anybody else. But to me, this is the sickest card I got in my collection. It's a Richie Sexton ball card from 01 Absolute, number to 50. And again, you wouldn't think that's anything cool, but take a look at that ball right there. That is from the inaugural game of Miller Park. And um, well, let's see, that's a little off focus there. Um, but uh, let me see if I can get a better shot of this. Um, sorry about that. I'm trying to get that better focused. But basically what that is, is it's the entire Miller Park logo right there on the ball. And it says April 6th right on it. You can probably see it better on my webcam if I were to do it there. But uh, it's, it's kind of hard to see. But yeah, that's the entire Miller Park logo right there. The entire stadium. So that is incredibly sick. Actually, let me see if maybe I can zoom in. Yeah, it's still still not working quite right. So sorry about that, but hopefully you guys can see that okay. But yeah, that's, I think, the sickest card of my collection. I had to pay like 100 bucks for that back in 2001. So it was a pretty hefty price tag, but like I said, it's incredibly sick. So again, thanks a lot to all the guys who I've traded with, and uh, just uh, keep a lookout for more mail days. Possibly more Brox Breaks, and of course, 07 Sweet Spot Classic, base and game use set. See ya.